Okay, I got another set of classification questions. It might pay on this one to actually talk about the choices first and then go to the questions because I want to go into these in a little bit of detail uh, as part of the review. So we've got different uh, compounds here, all at the same concentration, 0.1 molar. Let's talk about each of the compounds separately and talk about what they are. So first is HCl. HCl you might remember, or you should remember, definitely something to know. It's a strong acid, which means it completely dissociates, so it completely breaks apart into H plus and Cl minus. So this is going to have a very, very high H plus concentration, which means it's going to have a very, very low pH. NaCl, well that's just a salt, plain old salt, plain old table salt, but it's a salt in general, it's an ionic compound. And in terms of acidity, it has no acidity or basicity, it's pretty much neutral. This next guy is another important one to recognize. This is acetic acid, and it's a weak acid, right? It's not one of the six strong acids you should know. Um, so it's acetic acid, it's a weak acid, which means even though it's the same concentration nominally as HCl, it's going to be a weaker acid because it's not going to fully dissociate. So it's going to have you know a decent H plus concentration, but certainly not as much as the HCl at this particular concentration. So it will have a low pH, but not certainly as low as the HCl. CH3OH, so this is some organic you should recognize. This is methanol, so it's an alcohol. And just like an ACL, doesn't really enter the conversation at all in terms of acidity or basicity. And finally, we have KOH, which is a strong base. We recognize that from the OH, uh, paired with the K in particular. And just like with the HCL, it's going to completely dissociate. So this is going to have a very, very high OH minus concentration, which means it's going to have a very, very high pH. That said, let's go to the choices. Is weakly acidic? Well, we've determined that the weak acid here is C, acetic acid has the highest pH. Again, it's going to be the strong base. It's going to have a very, very high pH, so that's going to be E. Reacts with an equal volume of 0.05 molar BaOH2 to form a solution with pH 7. So we're talking about neutralization here, or titration. So we have 0.05 molar BaOH2. So what we're trying to neutralize here is the OH, right? So this is basic. And since we have two uh, OH particles or two, H, two OH ions per one molecule, that means we have a concentration of 0.1 molar OH minus in this situation, right? Because we've got 0.05 of the total thing, but each one contains two, so we double the concentration and get 0.1. So we need the thing here that has 0.1 molar H plus to totally cancel it out. So we look at the choices. Clearly the only ones that are possible are the acids. So B, D, and E are off the table. Uh, a and C. Well, A is a strong acid. It's 0.1 molar HCl, so it'll produce 0.1 molar H+, because it completely dissociates. And there you go. So A is the answer. Now, you might wonder, what about C? Well, C is a weak acid, but in this scenario, it would kind of consume and react completely with the 0.1 molar. So this actually would yield, in this scenario, 0.1 molar H+. So why isn't C the answer then? Well, you have to remember that when you mix a strong base, when you try to do a neutralization reaction, equal volumes or equal, you know, H plus OH minus concentrations of a strong base and a weak acid. That does indeed neutralize, but it doesn't neutralize at pH 7. It actually, in this, creates, creates a solution that's weakly basic. And uh, maybe in a future video, I'll go into some discussion as to why. And then the opposite is true. If you do a strong acid with a weak base, you're going to have a resulting neutralized solution or quote-unquote neutralized solution that's going to be weakly acidic. So that's why C doesn't work. Even though, yeah, it does participate in this neutralization reaction, and it is like the same H plus concentration, uh, the solution you're left with at, at the end when you've equalized everything is actually not pH 7. It's pH, you know, greater than 7.